Hey, comic book junkies, it's the Frog Queen here, and I am back with my second episode of what I'm currently reading. So, uh, it has been a while. I've, I'm putting this out a little bit later than I originally intended. I'd like to do it once a week on like maybe a Wednesday, but uh, I've been sick all week, as you know if you've been watching these videos. So, here it is, Saturday morning, and I thought I would try and pump it out today. So, um, before I dive right into it all, um, I do want to say a big thank you to everyone who has recently subbed. I went from like 112 subs to like 165 in about like 7 or 8 days. So that is amazing and thank you so very much. I also want to say thank you to uh, two people, uh, one being Kyle Rowe um, for uh, giving me a little shout out during his live show and uh, just consistently uploading some awesome stuff. He's always got uh, all this awesome vinyl and all these awesome comics that he finds at like, I guess they're like thrift stores and stuff. And uh, yeah, I really love your videos and thank you for the support. And the other person I want to thank is Chris Ventura from Comic, uh, Comic Frontline um, for um, giving me a little shout out during the live show and um, showing people my channel. Um, I think that definitely helped um, boost my subs for the week and uh, also giving me some good advice about uh, YouTube and stuff uh, and as usual putting out uh, awesome content. I have been watching um, uh, a lot of comic stuff online but um, it took me a while to find it on YouTube. It's really hidden and even when I like put in the search um, comic book reviews and stuff I would only get like the same people showing up all the time which were like... Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, comic Book Girl 19 and like, um, like the Nerdist. Uh, I think we're like the only things that would populate over and over and I'm like, come on, there's gotta be more people on YouTube talking about comics. I just gotta figure out how to find them. Anyway, so now that I've kind of actually found some people, um, I have so many videos to watch all the time, which is really nice, um, instead of me being like, ho-hum just the same three, four YouTubers over and over um, who weren't even really actually covering comics very often. Um, They're mostly co talking about comic book movies, which I don't watch really, so um, I couldn't really relate to their channels. So anyways, thank you so much everybody and uh, it's so good to see all these awesome channels that are just about comics. It's wicked. What am I currently reading? Let's just dive right into it, shall we? Um, I will start with um, the only floppy that I purchased, um, which I'm going to do a co-review with another YouTuber on, um, is Grass Kings, and I got the um, a Fiona Staples variant cover. I'm a big fan of Tyler Jenkins, so I got this. As you know, I've been reading through uh, my Cinebooks that I got uh, from Cinebook, and um, I did this one, uh, Thorgol, Child of the Stars, which is actually the first in a very long series of books. Thorgol, the Thorgol collection is huge. You can kind of see there's some on the back. And this, of course, is um, based on Norse mythology, so Thorgol, like Thor. Strange how it's based on, you know, I don't know too many of the original myths of like Nor Norse myths but um it's very it's very odd how it's been put together and it's kind of has this science fictiony feel anyway I will do a proper review because I, I'm, I'm just gonna blabber on during this and that's that's not my intention with the, these um, episodes anyway the other uh graphic novel I read was um the ultimate spider-man um this is the fallout uh, volume that I got for super cheap at um, a comic book store in another town um, about an hour away. Uh, they were just trying to get rid of their premiere editions, I guess, um, the hardcovered ones. So I got this, I got three hardcovers for $10, um, or th two for th $10, and then the, th the third one was like $5. So they were already really cheap, and then the third one was like cheaper because of the deal. They were just trying to liquidate them. Um, but yeah, this one is actually the very first appearance of Miles Morales, um, the other Spider-Man, the ultimate Spider-Man. Um, so I'd never actually read it before, 
I hadn't really read any of the Ultimate Universe, I guess, so, um, yeah, I just was like, hey, I'll pick it up, I'll check it out, see what it's like, I know Miles Morales is in it, and, you know, this is after Spidey died, so, Peter Parker, Spidey. So I read that. I also, um, reread, um, God Loves, Man Kills, uh, just because this is a colored edition. And when I originally read these um, Chris Claremont um, X-Men books, I had read them in the um, Essentials collection, which I think I'm pretty sure this was in one of the Essentials volumes. I don't remember which one. I've got a whole bunch of them. They're way down there at the bottom because they're kind of thick and heavy. Um, so yeah, I reread that. Um, I'll just keep going. I also read um, this uh, uh, Pop Gun War by Feral Dalrymple, which I have previously read. I read it in the singles, or the floppies, sorry, which were had these really nice um, thick card stocks, and they were slightly oversized. Um, uh, what, Silver Age edition, I guess? Like that size? Um, but they were really, really nice uh, books when they came out. And uh, I didn't actually own the trade. I was just wandering through the comic book store and picked it up because it was there. <laughs> anyway. Um, this was another one of my cheap finds. Um, it was 10 bucks. Um, David Boring by Daniel Clothes. Um, I've read most of Clothes books. This was one of the ones that just got missed one year when, whenever it came out. I can't remember when it came out. Was it 2002? Something like that. I don't know. 2002. Yeah, this one just, I, I missed it somehow. Um, and uh, yeah, I, when I found it, I was just like, oh, I'll pick that up and read that. It was pretty good. I can do an official review of it if you like, and we'll put it in the um, comic book nostalgia section of my channel or playlist. I'm too far away from my microphone. I feel like I'm leaning in a lot. <laughs> And um, so I finished uh, all the books that I was reading last week, uh, except for the Oz Omnibus, because I just kind of decided to leave it beside my bed and read like an issue or two of it every night. That's kind of like how I'm reading that one. Um, I did actually read um, issues 1 through 11, or whatever the most recent issue is, of uh, I Hate Fairyland, so I'm up to date on that. I did all that this week. Um, which I had originally, when it came out, I had only read like the first couple of issues um, and then hadn't continued to read it just because I, I do that sometimes. I get sidetracked and then I'm like, oh, this will be better binged or whatever, whatever. Um, and it's really funny. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Looney Tunes, um, that sort of thing. So, not Looney Tunes, sorry, Animaniacs. My bad. I'm still tired. It's early in the morning. Give me a break. Anyway. Um, and... I just got what I am going to read today. I just got um, the first issue of the new Space Riders. I don't know if you know that one, but it's by Alex Zerit. I'll put the image right up here so it'll ring a bell and ring a ding ding. Um, I loved the original um, for first four issues, which came out last year or the year before last. I cannot quite recall. I'll have to check that. And I was looking forward, I've been looking forward to the next story so um I read the first couple pages when I first got it but um I haven't got to finish it yet so anyways that'll be that'll be reviewed as well I think this week um and then I, I finally finished that awful Anita Blake book it wasn't so bad by the end of it but I still I don't know if I'll bother reading the second one it, you know I like my trashy um supernatural novels I love them but this one I just, I really didn't like the main character, and uh, I don't know, it, it, I really loved the Sookie Stackhouse novels, um, which are based, uh, the ones the True Blood uh, television show is based on, which True Blood sucked, but um, the Sookie Stackhouse books are really great and trashy and awesome, and I used to love just reading them for bed. I read, like, the, the whole collection in, like, a week, when there's, like, I don't know, 13 books or something, because um, I was just, like, plowing through them. But they're just um, kind of page turners and they're silly and uh, not too keen on the Anita Blake series. So I started another trashy <laughs> vampire novel. <laughs> so I just started it last night and it's called Some Girls Bite. 
<laughs> um, and this one is actually not about a human who's, you know, overcome by sexy vampires, but um, she's actually uh, told from the perspective of a vampire who is female. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, it's the first in a series called the Chicagoland Vampire Novels. It, uh, you know, came recommended. There's a quote from Charlene Harris, who wrote the Sookie Stackhouse uh, novels on the front cover, and she says, these books are wonderful entertainment. And I always have to wonder about those kinds of lame-ass, like, quotes that they put on the back of books. Because I, when I worked for uh, Magnetic Press, I had to, like, go around to other creators and be like, hey, we're publishing this book. Can you read it and provide a quote that we can publish um, with the book, like, on the cover or the back or whatever, whatever. <laughs> and some people are like, yeah, I don't have time to read it. Just here, say I said this. Or write something that you think is appropriate and say that I said it. And I'd be like, right. And I'm, I'm like... <laughs> Charlene Harris says, these books are wonderful entertainment. And I'm like, yeah, she really didn't think too hard for that one. I'm pretty sure she didn't read them. But anyway, that's, that's my, <laughs> that's just how I feel about it anyway. <sighs> so I think that's all that I'm reading this week. Um, other than that, I feel like I've read like a couple floppies but I can't recall what they were because I'm always reading like a floppy a day but I I, I don't really keep tra track of them um, unless I want to review them for a particular reason. I also have some stuff that were submitted to me for review that I will get around to um, but uh, unless people really give me an incentive to read their book um, I won't guarantee that I'm going to read it right away because I just have so many and um, if I have to read something that's really awful I'm just not going to read it like I, I get people that will submit me um, books to read and they'll be like could you please um, do a review of my book and then I'll read half of it and I'll be like this is so so bad I don't want to review it because I don't want to say something um, negative um, and crush someone's dreams, especially when it's like their first, their first book ever. Um, so I'm always just like, um, okay, I'm not going to do a public review of this, but here's what I think, and this is why I'm not doing a public review of it. Um, I will if you really want me to, but I prefer not to. Um, some people are like, cool, no, I totally understand, you know, um, that's fine. Thanks for letting me know instead of just trashing my book. And some people are like, really not happy about it <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know but I'm just like I feel like that is fair of me to do <laughs> and um yeah I don't know but and this was just because like I've been running my website for such a long time so people have submit my their books through uh to me through my website anyway not through YouTube anyway that's that story and I feel like I've taken enough up enough of your time this morning um but yeah I do want to do these um once a week maybe I'll just start making it a Saturday morning routine since it's now Saturday and it's a pretty easy time for me to be able to do that kind of stuff sorry I'm people watching out the window all right so um until next time thank you for watching and uh read something good <laughs> <laughs>